In this video, we will learn how to connect to our Amazon Linux server via SSH and uh, how to update uh, its uh, software. Okay, so we have our um, um, EC2 instance running and um, this will be the very first time we're going to connect to it. And uh, to connect to our Linux server, we will need uh, two things. First, we will need the downloaded um, um, key pair I have downloaded and I have stored it uh, on my desktop so I will open finder go directly to desktop and here I have video course uh, certificate the, the uh, key pair file that we have downloaded so what I will need to do I'll need to select this file and I will um, uh, hold command button on my keyboard and then uh, type on I to bring up information window and under general I have the path where this file is stored so it is stored on my hard drive users my folder and desktop I'll copy this file I'll copy the path uh, into my um, buffer and then I'll close it and I will open on um, the launch pad and in the search I will type terminal and click on it so I'll bring up terminal and then I will CD into the path where my certificate is stored okay and now if I do ls to list down files in this location it brings up the only file on my desktop which is the video course and uh, what I will now do I will need to use command which is called ssh and then I will do dash I and then in uh, quotation mark I will need to provide the path to my certificate file so I'll copy the location where the file is located and then I will copy the name of the file slash so it's going to be the full path the absolute path to the uh, certificate file we have downloaded okay so SSH dash I and then the full path to the file. Then I'll do space and I'll type ec2-user. That is the username to your uh, Linux machine. It's going to be the same username for everybody who downloaded that, um, who, who launched that EC2 instance, ec2-user. And then we will need to provide uh, at and IP address, public IP address of our EC2 instance so I'll bring up my browser window and uh, while this instance instance is selected I see the public IP address of it so I will copy select IP address and I'll go back to my uh, terminal window uh, easy to user add this IP address and this should be it so if I hit enter now it will try uh, to connect to my um, remote uh, instance on Amazon using the certificate file but it says that the file is unprotected and this is why it does not allow us to connect and the permissions are bad but permissions uh, file is unprotected okay so uh, what I will need to do I will need to use uh, CH mode and I will need to set permissions of 400 which makes our file readable only to us and nobody else and then I will need to provide again the full path to my file uh, or because I'm on desktop and the file is on desktop I'll just provide a file name because a file right here where I am so ch mode for 100 on my file okay so permissions are set and hopefully this should be it now I will uh, copy the same command again ssh uh, dash i and then in quotation mark I have the complete absolute path to my certificate file then ec2 user and then IP address public IP address to my Amazon uh, ec2 instance and I hit enter okay so this is it now I'm connected to Amazon Linux uh, Amy to I'm connected to my machine so if I do ls uh, nothing is in the folder if I do cd um, oops I'm sorry 
if I do CD forward slash and do LS, okay, now I am, um, I know that uh, I am on Amazon instance for sure. So CD home, LS, CT to easy. Okay, so we're connected. Okay, the next step for me uh, is to bring this Amazon instance up to date and update its software packages. I will use uh, sudo yam and then uh, this command uh, update. So I'm writing yum command, which is basically a command uh, that is used on uh, Red Hat Linux for installing and updating software. And I'm running it uh, with sudo, which tells that I'm running this command as uh, an admin, as a root user. Okay, so I'm updating software packages on behalf of a uh, root admin user. I hit enter now and it's uh, loading plugins, no packages marked for update. So I think it's all up to date and I'm good to continue.